when you are editing a large file or working with different buffers you will often move around in such cases you can use the jump list to navigate to previous or newer locations so these commands are considered as jump commands so going to a specific marked location using braces or parentheses to move around sentence wise paragraph wise editing a new file and so on they are considered as jump commands you can use control o to navigate to the previous location and control i to navigate to the newer location you can remember o as old and i and o are usually located next to each other in the keyboard so let me use braces to move paragraph wise and now if i press control o it will go to the previous jump location if i press again it will go to the last but one jump location and so on control i will move to the newer location similarly you can use change list to move back and forth between change locations so when you make a change the cursor position is remembered one position is remembered for every change so let me make some change here if i move around those are jumps so this will not be considered as change movement is not considered as a change now let me type something else so if i press g semicolon it should go to the previous change location so g semicolon so this was the last change i did so the cursor moves to that location if i press again it should move to the last but one change location so g semicolon and so on if i use g comma it should go to the newer change location so g comma one more thing is g i so this just goes to the exact location where the cursor was last left in the insert mode so let's say insert mode this need not be a change just placing the cursor in the insert mode and now let me go back to normal mode i can be anywhere else and if i use g i it goes to the exact location where the cursor was left in the insert mode for more details you can use jump motions and change list if you want to view all the jump and change lists you can use jumps and changes command line mode commands